AB welcome back to another Jeta Tower Guide. Um, today we're going to be doing Tower of Bunny and Sloppy. This is a voiceover. My voice sounds terrible because I've been ill like this week and it's been horrible. But, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So, this tower is extremely short and also probably one of the easier resources. This is my favorite monsters, by the way. So, yeah, exactly. You're already on two in literally less than 30 seconds. So, just do these reps, it's pretty basic stuff. The hard four, in my opinion, is four, four, or five. It just gets a little bit of time trying to get used to the spinners. Yeah, so just go up there. There is actually a shortcut that you can do there, but I don't know how to do it, so, yeah. And, again, you're already on four, three, unless you fail like me, obviously. Yes, yeah, so just jump up here. And then wrap around. That wrap is really bad, by the way. Now, this part takes a lot of time to get used to, but you'll be able to get used to it pretty easy. This wrap I also see a lot of people struggle on. Just try and climb on it, and you should be good. And now you're at this part. This part is basically impossible without practice, although I have seen someone do it without practice, with pra without practice before. Yeah, it's mainly that rap that gets people, and it got me too. Yeah, this was not my first rap, this took me about, I want to say, three hours to do. Yeah, so just jump on. Now you're on the fourth floor in literally two minutes. That part, most people do it how to do it. It is way easier to just do it like how I'm doing it. And this part also gets a lot of people. It's a lot easier than it looks. Yeah, this looks like some catastrophic difficulty thing, but it's actually really easy. This spinner, there's a strategy for it, which in my opinion makes it a lot easier. Basically, only jump to do the wrap when you're on the two-step platform, because then you have a lot more space to land on. This one also is kind of difficult to do. I just like to go on the second stud and just jump in, and this one also takes a bit of practice. And you're on four or five already. This one looks a lot easier than it is. And then again, another wrap. This wrap, you could hit your head a little bit, so just be careful on that. This wrap is probably one of the hardest jumps in the towers. It's a lot harder than it looks. And then you just go along. And then you have this truss that you can go around. I like to go around it on it sideways. Which you'll see in a minute after I've just done this. Yeah, you'll see it in a minute now. It's a lot easier to go sideways because it's just a one step platform. This one, you basically just gotta hope you get lucky and just go like that. Now, this part confuses a lot of people. It's not too bad. But it definitely takes a bit of practice, so maybe don't don't rush it basically. So immediately when the spinner passes you, then you should go. Just like how I've shown it there. And then you're basically on seven. This squeeze right basically you're just gonna go when it's up, and you're gonna do the head hitter when it's down. Just like that. And then when this is going down you wanna jump. It's a bit hard, but that's safe to that, so it's fine. This jump is also a bit annoying, but I've done it pretty well. Then you're on number seven. Now, most people say seven, eight in the hardest floors. I basically first tried them, but I just failed on the final jump, which you'll see in a bit. Yeah, again, not that difficult. There is one jump that gets me a little bit. You'll see it in a bit. Yeah, this one. This is one of the few wraps that I actually use T pose on. I don't really like using T pose because I I actually feel more natural doing it without T pose. But that was really useful with T pose because it's a tight squeeze. This one, you can jump it, I believe, but just to go on the truss it is way way more consistent. Also, if you haven't noticed, I actually changed my shift lock icon. So that's the thing. Also, don't do what I do here. Make sure to wrap from the darker green platform. It's way easier. 
This one, this one again, is one of those things that looks way harder than it actually is. Basically, it's gonna go on, and it is that, it's that easy. It's really not that difficult. Now, I actually failed on this chest. I was too far on it. I was too far on the edge, and I could go up, and I fell. But yeah, I failed on this chest. It was not fun. Yes, yeah, so you make sure you go in the middle and not do like me. Now this spinner is way looks way easier. Than it is basically I like to wrap around the sideways. Lots of people like to wrap around forwards. It really doesn't matter. But basically the hard part is a, when you do a wrap like that, not the one where you go in, but where the one you go out. That's really difficult because you've got to count the spinner momentum. So you're gonna go, it's not like a normal rat. So I just talk in chat a little bit, but um Yeah, we're almost at the end. This tower's a very short. It's also the hardest non SC. Although mean task is undoubtedly harder than this. Um yeah, jump on that ladder la ladder ladder. This one you don't actually need to do this because it actually doesn't make a difference apart from the fact on which side you're on. But if you prefer to be on a certain side, then basically just hop on this um, Thea here. I'm so bad at pronouncing Thea. I can't do it. Um, yeah, so you just hop on the spinner and then just go around. Yeah, more wraps. Again, way easier than it looks. This jump though, be extremely careful. Don't do it like a normal head to do, do it like how I did it. And now go on floor nine. Good luck with this jump that I'm about to do. It's way harder than it looks. Yeah, basically, yeah, do it like how I did it. Uh, make sure you don't jump from there, because that'd be really bad, because you've got to jump from there. Now this one, basically, you've got to make sure you don't get pushed out by these things that push you out, obviously. Wow, great commentary. Yeah, basically. Oh my microphone's not pointing the right way. Uh, right, there we go. Yeah, so then jump. This wrap is way harder than it looks. Hold up, I need my sister. Shut up. Yeah, so jump, go there. It's very tight. So be really careful. This is not very tight though. So you can just do that at normal pace. Now we're about to enter floor 10 or the really easy floor apart from the final jump which is actually kind of difficult yeah so again just go up and now you're on floor 10 now this one some people like to go on the truss i personally went for the sideways tactic although make sure you're not stupid like me and almost fall off that'd be really embarrassing yeah sorry i haven't uploaded for a little bit my voice was sounding terrible you could probably still go to the different toning express. Yeah, again. So this wrap looks way harder than it actually is. There's a lot of jumps that are kind of misleading and difficulty. But then this, you're just going to jump on. Yeah, lots of people regard this tower as one, is, if not the best tower in the game. Oh yeah, I gotta stop talking about this because I gotta explain this jump. Basically, go to the edge and then just go down and jump. Yeah, it would be hard to find someone that didn't have this tower on their favorite towers. <laughs> it would be very hard to find someone where where it was missing on their list, and it would it would be missing. It wouldn't just be not on it. It would be missing because it's supposed to be on there. Obviously, this tower's amazing. And now you're on for the probably the worst fail ever. Um, yeah. So basically. Your camera's gonna go wild, which mainly, which is the main part that makes this jump horrible. Yeah, as you can see, I just put that on slow mo. It is not fun. Basically, I jumped, tried to grab on, but I hit my head and I fell. So this was me on the same run actually. I fell to like floor. I gradually fell to floor five, but I managed to make it up, and you won. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this, then you're cool because that means you've stayed with me on this break but um thank you guys for watching. 
Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content. I'm doing a voiceover, as I said. Like, subscribe. Bye.